illumination were no more. Yeah, let's get a sniffer running. If Abstergo pings us, pull me out. Okay. I have a visual. Hey there. This is probably disorienting, so I'll be brief. I'm Bishop, not my real name, obviously, but that's as much as you'll get today. Please listen carefully. Abstergo is using you, hijacking your neurons to help them sift through genetic memory data. These guys don't have their fingers. In it's fine, man. I understand. <laughs> when I, sometimes when I watch streams, it goes out a bit, now, quite a few times. They want control over history itself. If that doesn't frighten you, it should. But we're here to stop them, and I need your help. Deacon, preload gene sequence uh, AD16, B13, I87. Yep, spooling it up. Last week, we gained access to a bank of unsequenced memories in Abstergo's Helix servers. For now, we'd like you to experience a small sample. This should help you understand our struggle. And after that, you can decide for yourself what comes next. We'll be waiting. Man, these next gen loading screens take forever. Xbox 360 had it right. <clears throat> like, the uploads and downloads didn't take that long. And the loading screens were, like, minimum. But however, next to PC, anything Auto. takes a long time. Father. Courage, my boy. You wait just here. I will return when this hand reaches the top. That's forever. Not as long as all that. And when I get back, we'll see the fireworks. And Arno, no exploring, hmm? Yes, Father. Makes you wonder how, uh, no, this isn't PC. This is, uh, on Xbox One. <clears throat> well, yeah, it makes you wonder if, like, if everybody had was faceless. Like, was the little kids faceless too? Cause I know there's quite a few when it was just the adults, but. I'm pretty sure it's fixed for the most part. <laughs> Yeah, that's why I like these kind of games instead of games like Call of Duty, like where it like requires like a lot of attention. Like Counter Strike 2, that you can't read chat or like talk to people. Um, I don't know where, how do I. Okay. Thief, put that back. Wow. Put that away now. Uh, hell. What happened? These are for his royal highness. Not for us.
That guy didn't really do that great of a job to look for me. He just all he went it was to one place. That was it. He stood right here the whole time. I'm ordering you to stand still. He's really bad at his job. And she's also a bad influence. Who tells somebody to steal an apple? <laughs> Did you see their faces when we stole those apples? <laughs> I'm Arno, Elise. I'm here with my father. So am I. He has important business with the king. What should we do now? Shh. Apparently somebody died. Don't worry, they'll never think to look for us in here. It was my fault. I'm the one who took the apple. Let's see where they're going. Why would you think that was over an apple? Pretty sure it was somebody dying. Hurry up. Monsieur Franklin, I sincerely hope this unfortunate affair does not darken your opinion of our And also he runs as if he has a wedgie, I'm just saying. Father? We should all be called. Come here, girl. Now. Father? Yeah, I'm pretty sure he's dead. He's really Arno. dead. Arno. Look at me. You know what, I take it back. I'm pretty sure his father died because he stole the apple. That guard that was just standing there, he wasn't just in there just because he sucks at his job. He was planning to go kill someone. He couldn't catch me, but apparently he can catch my father and kill him. I mean, that makes sense to me. I don't know about you guys. It makes perfect sense. Card, so you stoop the thieving, you bastard! Calm down, Victor. I've only come for my watch. It's my watch. I want it fairly. Well, in a just world, Victor, I would agree with you, but this is not a just world. This is France. You're a dead man. Ooh, step lightly there. You'll hurt yourself. Oh wow, table flip. Impressive. <clears throat> I just had a nice chat with your brother. You go. Fetch the marshals. Hold on a minute. Diable. I've got it, Victor. Cool. Uh, move up. Come on. I say. Sorry. Pretty sure if you see someone running, you don't just stand there. You don't just stand in their way. Pardon, madam. Am I in front of him? I how did I get in front of him? I'm sorry, what? Get back here! Over there! 
Is he shooting at me? Wow, all over a watch. I've never wanted to shoot someone over a watch, and I like watches a lot, but I'm never gonna shoot someone over a watch. This should work? Okay, yeah, it worked. Oh, come there. Are you serious? We were done here. And uh, I still don't understand why you're shooting at somebody over a watch. It doesn't make sense to me. I mean, all, a lot of, there's a lot of things you can shoot somebody over, but not a watch. I mean, I'd never shoot somebody over a watch. And where in God's name have you been? You now, you little shit. Just a little misunderstanding. Nothing to. Your master's arbor and a common criminal. In broad daylight, he broke into my home and stole my watch. Did he indeed? Well, I'm sure the Marshal C would be more than willing to sort this out. Sort what out, Olivier? Uh, a most serious accusation against your ward, sir. He robbed me. <laughs> of what precisely? Wait for me in my library. Mm. Okay, problem solved. Don't give me that look. Victor cheats when he plays Pharaoh. Everyone knows it. Arno? Who are you talking to? No one, monsieur. You'll be happy to learn I persuaded Olivier to leave off calling the Marshalsea. Again. Je vous remercie, monsieur. What is this? The sixth time? The seventh? Perhaps a new hobby might be better for your health. Well, I find playing cards affords many opportunities for fresh air and exercise. <laughs> we'll talk about this later. I have business in town and must collect Elise before I can attend to it. Elise is here? Only for the night. She returns to Paris first thing tomorrow. She'll need an escort, won't she, with you so preoccupied? One of you running a mock is quite enough. Remain here and see if Olivier has any chores for you. I'm sure he does. What was that? Give my regards to Elise. You know, I don't understand why they implemented a memory rating system. I I really don't understand it. I mean, what? I mean, they they'll put the same thing in every single game if they wanted to. I mean, I mean I've played enough Assassin's Creed to know that there are a lot of the same things in it. So, rating a mission does really nothing. Yet? Oh, you would love that, wouldn't you? It'd break my heart. Olivier here. Who do all your work for you? The horses need brushing, boy. Get to it. Certainement, monsieur. Some trouble, mon ami. A letter for Sir de la Serre. It's very important. Oh, calm yourself, Perrault. That letter won't reach Monsieur de la Serre any faster if you drop dead of exhaustion. Give it here. I'll catch you. You must receive it today. It's very I mean, this is a bit stereotypical. The, the fat guy can't catch up to it. That's kind of messed up. Because he's fat, he can't run. That's he has no ability whatsoever. Bad luck, lad. You'll have to go around. All over. What was that? I mean, is that really fair to the to the guy? That because just because he's fat doesn't mean he can't run. There's plenty of fat people that can run. I don't know of any, but I'm pretty and sure there's. Pretty sure there's plenty. 